Hi, it's me again. And yeah, who had this one on their sex offenders bingo card then? Although it's not funny, is it? It's really not funny at all. Another one is a possibility, and they were a BBC employee. It's doing the rounds today. Have you seen it? Have a look at the headline here. On, I've got it in the Express. I think it was the Times that uncovered this story, but I've got it in the Express because I haven't got a subscription to the Times, obviously. BBC comedian Hardeep Singh Kohli arrested and charged with sex offences. Now, apparently well known for his work at the BBC, which I didn't really know who he was, but I don't watch a lot of broadcast telly anyway, do I? I definitely don't watch a lot of BBC. But yeah, he's been properly arrested, properly charged, and he's out at the moment. And it says here he's going to have to go to court later this year. So I had a little look at had a little look at what he had been up to because I don't I don't know a lot about the man so I thought it was interesting and we can have a little look at it together because it says here what was the charge look um a police Scotland spokesperson said a 54 year old man had been arrested and charged in connection with allegations of non recent sexual offences he has been released on an undertaking to appear in court at a later date. Uh, we don't know. That's all we know. We don't know anything else about it. So let's have a look at, at what he's been up to. So I've got well, Wikipedia, take it what you will. But I've had a little read around. It seems fairly accurate. So after graduating from university, Coley joined BBC Scotland a Graduate Production Trainee Scheme. So we went straight to the... But why are they attracted to the BBC? I mean, granted, he hasn't... Well, he's been charged, but he hasn't been found guilty yet. So is he st he's still technically innocent, right? So we can't go chucking accusations around more than what we read in the paper there. But if he is, if it turns out that he does become a convicted sex offender, that's another one at the BBC who's just, boom, attracted to going to work for the BBC. Why is that? What is it about the BBC that attracts these people? He later worked in BBC Television Centre directing... Children's TV. Children's TV. Before moving to youth and entertainment features in Manchester to become a series director on blah, blah, blah. And then he's director of It All Nether Work, which is the first children's TV show to win an award from the RTS and BAFTA. So he, he liked... He, he, I don't know a lot about him. I had a little look about. He doesn't seem like the kind of person that would be attracted to doing children's television. I thought he was a comedian and he does fringe festivals and stuff like that. What is it with children's television? Oh, don't it? So in September 06, he took part in BBC One Celebrity MasterChef. And then he's done a bit of Question Time, a few other bits. He worked for UK TV, which is also the BBC. He has worked for Channel 4 and others as well. He's not solely BBC. But a lot of his work was for the BBC. And then, look, Coley was the presenter of the second series of CBBC, which is Children's BBC, game show Get 100 in June 2009. And he was one of five volunteers who took part in a BBC series of three programmes about living penniless in London. Coley was a reporter for the one show, but was suspended in 2009 for six months amidst allegations of inappropriate behaviour towards a researcher and his contract was never renewed. A social worker knocks on the door. Well, you're not even paying attention. Wait. <laughs> I'm just really just You've just turned your back on me, Chloe. We need to, <laughs> we need to get comfortable. I'm going to go like this. <laughs> Don't yeah. click your neck, mate. This is serious. <laughs> a social worker <laughs> knocks on the door. Yeah. A five-year-old... Shut up and listen. <laughs> hey, he's ordering these girls about and telling them, you know, shut up, pay attention to me, don't turn your back on me, all of that. And then he's going to tell a joke. This is a joke, apparently. Have a look. A social worker <laughs> knocks on a door. Yeah. A five-year-old... Shut up and listen. <laughs> a five-year-old boy answers the door. He's got a Cuban cigar in one hand, an espresso martini in the other, and he's wearing a 1930s vintage red silk smoking jacket. Miles Davis is playing in the background. The social worker says, <laughs> Excuse me, Sonny, are your parents home? And the five-year-old says, What do you think? Hilarious. Yeah, I can see why he's had such a long and glittering career. Because he is hilarious. There's this clip here. I'm not going to play it. 
but he's talking about that subject there. And I can't really find anything about his CBBC stuff on YouTube. I can't log in to BBC, even though BBC would have taken it off by now. Anyway, I wouldn't know. But why are they attracted to the BBC? Are these related to what got him suspended from the one show in 2009? If so, you do realise it's 2023 now, BBC. Why has this taken so long? So that's going to be another internal investigation that the BBC is going to have to do. It's just, it could very well end up being another one, couldn't it? I was just having a little read through the rest of the Wikipedia, see if I could find anything interesting. I did find an article from the Mail that was uh, put out, where is it, 12th of July 2009, about his suspension from the one show. The BBC has suspended one show presenter, Hardeep Singh Kohli, for pestering a female researcher on the programme. The corporation said they had ordered the comedian to apologise after taking the complaints from the woman very seriously. Uh, okay, last night I'd been, last night he denied he had been accused of sexual harassment, but accepted his actions had overstepped the mark. All right, so it's possible from that that the charges that he's facing don't come from his two thousand and nine thing with the one show team, but they are. Not recent, it says in the thing. So he was showing behaviour back then, wasn't he? And alarm bells were ringing. It's just, well, he did get suspended from the BBC, so fair enough for them. I don't know. We'll wait until we find out all the details when he's in court later this year. It's just, it's just amazing that it's yet another one, isn't it? Yet another one that worked for the BBC, that was attracted to go and work for the BBC, is up on these kinds of charges. I don't know what else to say. But I'll keep up to date with it. When the court case comes around, I'm sure we'll talk about it and we'll get all the details then. Let me know what you think about it down in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, the other button, stuff like that, and then you'll be kept up to date with it, won't you? And I'll see you in the next one, whenever that will be. I think it's later today, to be fair, because I've got a couple to talk about today. Ta-da!